Hello everybody and welcome back to Thornton Farm. Right, so yesterday we were beginning the harvest of the sugar beet and today we are going to be completing that job. It's just, the only thing is, yesterday I did it so badly on the corners that I got quite a lot of negativity. So today we're going to make a bigger effort to uh, make it a bit neater. You can see I have actually missed bits on the corners, it doesn't look very good, but in my defence it was mainly because of the tight spaces. It is obviously a lot harder to do this field with the shed in the way and the wall at the top. But today we will uh, try a bit harder to get this finished a lot neater. I did get a tip on how to do this. Apparently the best thing to do is to go to the end and then sort of reverse backwards and swing back around again wider. Sounds good. I'm going to try it today. Hopefully it will work. So when we get to the end, we'll lift the top rope keep going and then reverse back swing a lot wider yeah the thing is you see this could take a while if we have to keep doing this every time then the potential is there to add a lot of time onto this and yes that did not work any better at all I'll have to try again in a second another method for this is to go all the way to the end and then turn left that might work so pick the top rope and there's a few bits here which have been missed, so we'll keep going. Yeah, this this could work. It just takes a while. And lower the topper again here. And perfect. Yeah, so that, that does work quite well. And obviously the further in we get, the easier it will get because we'll have more space. But we'll definitely get this done today, no doubt about it. We need to because we need to move on to a different job. A uh, few people saying they didn't really want me to do forestry at all. I don't know if that would be the case, but uh, I don't know. I did want to. And again, I should think, saying that, many people will say, it's your channel, do what you want. And okay, I, I will do, but I don't want to upset everybody, obviously, because that would be a terrible thing to do. I think if it's just one episode, then that would be okay. It's bearable. I quite enjoy doing forestry, it's just when I mess up. That's, that is when it gets very tedious and boring. Right, so moving on to a different topic, I have indeed just bought a different, or another, compact tractor in real life. This is not Farming Simulator. Um, for those of you who follow Machinery Restorer, you know, the channel, um, there will be some videos appearing on there. It's going to be a winter restoration project. It'll probably span over to the spring, uh, but definitely I'm going to be restoring it. Um, but it'll probably be about a month before I start any videos because I've got to source some parts. I'm still looking for some, and there's a few other things I do need to sort out first of all. But basically, it has a cab. It's not like one of these flimsy cabs. It is a proper official cab by the manufacturer. It is a Kubota or Kabuta. Some people pronounce it differently. I've always called it Kubota, personally, but Kubota B2100 from 2000, and it is 21 horsepower, hence the reason why it's called a 2100. Uh, but yeah, it's a decent machine, except for a bit of an issue underneath. When, when I say this, some of you will probably think, why did you even buy that? But basically, Pretty much all of its life, its job has been to run a salt spreader. And obviously, salt equals corrosion. And yes, there is a lot of rot on it. So it's going to be a project, but I think in a way, because it is so damaged at the back where the salt spreader has been, at the end of the restoration project, it will feel more of an achievement because we've changed it so much. So that is going to be probably November to March on Machinery Restorer. You can get to that channel via this channel. If you go on the channel page you'll see it says My Other Channel and you should be able to see it there. But yeah, just stay tuned. It, it will be a month or so though, maybe even up to two months before I even release the first proper video. I will do like a, a first look video if you want to call it that. Uh, just showing you it before any work is done. Bit of a tour start the engine up and stuff, a bit of a drive, but yeah, it's nothing super special at the moment because it does require a lot of work and it was actually very expensive, I think I did actually overpay for it, but 
Um, no, I, I'm still pleased that I bought it. I look forward to doing the restoration. And that has turned out to be perfect timing for unloading. We just need to square the machine up a bit. Go and cab for this. We might sell a bit today. I've been holding off it because of the terrible price for it. Um, we'll see. Right, that was too far away. Go a bit closer. Fill it up a bit at the front and then the rest at the back. It unloads very quickly. So, just a square in the middle. Should be done in about 20 minutes. Obviously, video time, I don't know, 5 10 minutes. Shouldn't be too long. Right, so 85% full. And we're nearing the end. We've got just a tiny bit left to do. Lift that up. And see if we can. Oh no, we don't want to go too close. See if we can load into the back from here. Oh, yep, yeah, that is working. Good. Right, so uh, when this is unloaded, we'll still have space in the trailer. So there shouldn't be any issues about fitting it all in. You can see where I've been turning today, and I haven't missed too much. There's been a few little bits, but nothing as bad as as bad as yesterday. It's terrible yesterday. Uh, so this this has worked a lot better, although more time is wasted turning around. But I suppose when you're getting more of the crop, it doesn't really matter. We'll start it up again. Lower the topper and get this finished off. I suppose if you keep going around in a circle, the issue is it's going to be more time spent turning than it is harvesting. So we might go up and down in, in the end. It probably would be better. Uh, in fact, yeah, let's, let's just cut across. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up the topper here. I don't know if this is the best thing to do, but I'll do it anyway. In fact, it probably will take just the same amount of time. But the key thing here is we need to be going down the rows instead of across the rows because obviously you harvest with the row not against otherwise it could be very chaotic that has worked but yeah we still have to turn probably going to be exactly the same in the end but I'll crack on and we'll probably resume the video when we're nearer the end of that square over there or that rectangle right so you can see quite a uniform driving style there, you can see all the roads, all the tracks which I've made with the tractor and yeah there's a few bits missed, like there's uh, five, six, seven bits missed there and a few bits over there but yeah if you compare it to yesterday it's quite a lot missed, I've just missed another five there so yeah I don't know the importance of missing like five in real life obviously you don't want to miss anything but I'm guessing it's done. Sorry, I <laughs> let my foot off the pedal way too hard then. Don't know how much that picked up. Um, but yeah, I'll try my best here. It's going to be ploughed in. Oh, the acidity. The pH has gone to 6.2. Slightly acidity. Or slight, slight acidity? Is that the right pronunciation? Yeah, I think it is. Slightly acidic, I think I'd probably say. That's probably better English, not sure. Yeah. Anyway virtually done here. Oh yeah, another thing I've been meaning to do. The pigs. How can you forget about those lovely pigs? They're over there. I see them nearly every day and I've neglected them. How are they doing? I could just go and ask them. Uh, none dead, I don't think. No, there's none dead. But they have no feed at all. Literally nothing. I think I know what we're going to be doing next time over there in that yard, definitely. And this is the final row. All completed, with the exception of a few bits. Right, so we'll switch it off, and I'll switch off the harvester as well. We'll unload, 
and amazingly that filled at 85% again but it will fit in the trailer so we should be okay I think we might sell this I think probably will do just to get a bit of money back because we are a bit short put a bit around the middle and we are done so we'll fold that up we we'll have to put this away. It is rented. Uh, mustn't forget that. Actually, we don't need it again, so we'll return it now. Otherwise, I'm going to increase time at some point, and it's going to suddenly renew both of them, and it's going to cost a fortune. So the safest thing to do is just to take it back to the store, even though we still have 4 hours and 10 minutes left on it. I've also decided that when we do the potato harvest it will be with a self-propelled harvester. It won't be with the trailed one because the trailed one is just far too slow and field 36 is actually bigger than it looks on the minimap. On the minimap actually it still looks quite big but if you're taking in two rows at a time then it's going to take forever. Not literally but you know what I mean. I think it'll probably take about five hours in real time. It's been crazy. So it's probably a good opportunity for me to download a different mod. We we'll use a different self-propelled harvester if, if there is a good potato harvester out there. Not too sure really, but uh, yeah, that would be pretty decent. We'll drop this off here. We better take the PTO shaft. Oh, that's it. Walk sideways. Please detach the implement first. Yeah, there we go. That's right. Take that off there and we'll uh, return £100 washing fee could have washed it the tractor certainly needs a wash put this in here oh yeah I'm walking through doors again take the BTO off and we should be able to return this as well. I, I'm guessing another £100 returning fee for washing yeah so that's cost us a bit we definitely need to sell some sugar beet but this is not going to be very impressive it's just another crop to do because if we keep doing the same crops and over and over again we don't use any different machinery which is a shame door dagger in mustn't forget off we go let's go and sell the sugar beet and it's a shame there's no great demand on it because this would be the perfect time. We could sell everything. There is great demand actually for something. It did flash up. I think I ignored it. Uh, the great demand is for the beef, which we don't have any of at the moment, I don't think. Actually, we do. We do have some, but I think we're lacking the trailer, the livestock trailer. Put this back in the yard on the left hand side and then we'll run over to the John Deere and get it sold. Not the tractor, the sugar beet obviously. <laughs> we do not need to sell the John Deere tractor. It's a good tractor. Oh, except for this one here, um, somebody did say to sell it but I think it's a nice machine. It's handy just for shunting so I think we'll probably keep it. It is based on the T4, hence the reason why when you're driving it, it says on the inspector mod, New Holland T4. JCB, oh we should, probably should have put that down. Someone's going to walk straight into that, bash the knee. Everything else seems to be okay, yep. Yeah. I think it's quite heavy at the back, this trailer. Open the door, jump in, and let's go. Yeah, most of the weight is in the back. It's only 76% full. We will fill it up as we're going there. We might as well.
a bit more in the middle. Fantastic. Right, off we go. Over to Blue Sphere Store. I think that is the only place you can take it to. Sugar Beet, Blue Sphere Store. Yep, any place. Fair enough. Off we go. I can pull this down. Got to get it in the right place. Mm, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the trigger can be in a different place to where the hand is. Basically the blind if you don't know what I'm trying to do there. Nice sunny day. Let's try again. On a straight road. Come on! Work! Yeah, it will work. It's just obviously not at the moment. I've done it before, I think. <coughs> um, yes, that was obviously not supposed to happen. Right, so, we've just fished it out the river there. And we're back. Pretend it never happened. I'm going to go right up here as I usually do. It's a very good shortcut. If you're playing this map and you're new to it, if you're heading to the Blue Sphere Store from the main yard, this is a very good way to go. Don't know whose land it is. I think it is pub public land, I think. But, um... Yeah, good way to go, if you're trying to take a good shortcut. That is pretty much it for me today. Obviously we're going to sell this and see how much money we get. But yeah, if you, if you haven't subscribed yet to my other channel, if you're interested in restorations and generally just tractors, I suppose, then uh, yeah, head over there. I'll try and remember to put a link below, but you can, you can still get to it by going on this channel and clicking on Machinery Restorer there, or by typing it into the YouTube search but yeah if you just want to see some different content that's the place to go to obviously there's no farming simulator there so if you if you're just watching my videos for farming simulator or other gameplay videos then yes it's probably not for you at all but just yeah if you want to just see something different then great place to go there's not too many videos on there and some of them are very old and it was before I became more confident to do videos properly. Some of them will put you to sleep, I'll have to admit that now. But if you watch the more recent ones then they are a bit better. Um, but yeah, the, the, more, the future ones should be the best, hopefully. But yeah, that is it from me today on Thornton Farm. We will probably be back on Knaves World tomorrow but it's going to be random so it could even be multiplayer but I doubt it, we'll just have to see. Um, but yeah, there we go. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and I will be back tomorrow with more Farming Simulator. Until then, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.